Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Etheris, a turn-based RPG roguelite that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. It's out now on Steam in early access, and it looks really, really good. So let's pop on in and see what the game is all about. Uh, visually, it looks wild, and I am not even fully sure of what the gameplay of the game is going to be like. I just know it looks stunning and unique from the trailers and everything. So here we go. Yesterday, the world cracked open. Four Vazard warriors were enjoying a gnat stew when the earth began to shake. The sky filled with clouds and a huge black mass burst from the mountain above their village. The shade began to spread. Brave warriors chose to examine it more closely. Is that us? Oh, wait, 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 I have control over them. This is going to be my party? Lani, Dungior, Sekuzu, Habubu, Habu'u. All right. Okay, this is so pretty. Oh, my God. Ahead of the warriors, the shade has engulfed everything. The road, the ground, even the sky. Lightning and growls burst out of the strange, opaque fog that faces them. To find out what it is, they only have one choice. Move forward. We can't make these choices because they are too risky. So we can either skip the tutorial or play. I mean, I want to know the tutorial. Like I said, I don't don't know what we're in for. I know it's a party-based RPG. Turn-based combat. Says it's a roguelite. Uh, the warriors brace themselves and prepare to face the shade. The shade caught up with you. I walked into it. It was on purpose. Placement. Two Shadnaws are close to one of your allies. Move the designated Vazard, of course, to an empty blue tile to get closer and support them. Okay, so Shadna, that's just the sort of the name of these things here. Gotcha. So, Dunjur, you want me to move here? To zoom in or out, we can do this. It's the wheel. To move the camera, hold down the wheel. Okay, so that was what it was. Alright, now press the ready button to start the fight. Okay. Lots of die rolls up there. These are D-hundreds or something? Each round, the order of the turn is determined by a dice roll that is ten-sided, plus the character's initiative. So, holy crap, what's... How high is the initiative, then? Also, this sounds... There's so much going on. Well, there's nothing going on at the same time. Uh, to get more information about an enemy or ally, click on the portrait in the game sequence in the top to get their character sheet. Hello. Okay. You can also access it at the top left of the screen by right-clicking directly on the character on the map. Got it. The monster has beaten you up pretty good and has inflicted you with poison. To learn more, open up the character sheet and hover over the effect icon. Poison. 3 HP loss at the start of turn. Got it. It's your turn. Your Vazard is in bad shape and dangerously close to the Shadnaw. Move it to the left by clicking on the designated tile. Moving across one tile costs a movement point. Great. Okay. Okay. Are there attacks of opportunity, or... Seems no. Set up a trap for that Shadna. If they step on it, they will lose health and movement. To do so, click the snare. Okay. Requires AP, so you won't be able to use it over and over, but don't worry, action points are recharged at the beginning of each round. You have a wonky rifle as well. Use your weapon. Damage an enemy in range. Well done, you may now finish your turn. Click on the hourglass. Trap worked perfectly. Now that Shadna can only end its turn. 
Your ally is in bad shape. Come closer to them and use the urgent care skill to restore their health and cancel poison. Sounds good. Your ally seems to be feeling better. You may finish your turn. This Vazard is far away from the fight. Use the skill Bestial Leap in order to get closer and inflict damage to nearby characters in the process. Beware, you can hurt your allies with this skill. To all adjacent, I'm going to assume that adjacent is just one in every direction there. Such strength. You may now finish your turn. You can also press the space bar to finish your turn. So... Did that count as my movement and my uh, action? Ow. This Vazard was accompanied by a spirit who sacrificed itself to resurrect them. When a Vazard dies permanently, it becomes a spirit itself who will be able to accompany future adventurers. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. You'll be able to assign a spirit, or not, to your adventurers in your village sanctuary. The Vazard has a powerful skill, but requires SP. Unlike action points, these are not recharged at the start of the round. Be sure, so it's like a mana. 32 to 34 magic damage to all enemies, no matter where they are. All right. As you can see, dead enemies are removed from the game sequence. Shad and others are supposed to play next turn won't be able to bother you. Good deal. Standard stuff so far, but like, oh my god. I can't even be mad at anything this game does just because I'm looking at it, you know? In the face of this abomination, did you stand any chance at survival? No. The spirits of the warriors who've just lost their lives might be able to help the next brave adventurers who dare face it. That's 2,000. I saw how much health it had. 2,272. All right. The warriors never made it back. Something emerged from the shade, eating them alive, spreading panic. Is this the cataclysm the prophecy spoke of? The shade keeps spreading. It's now up to you to take action. You and the three other Vazers have offered to seek a safe path to help the village escape to the wilderness. Make haste. The shade quickly catches up with anyone leaving the village. Your village, usually so peaceful and protected by the spirits of your ancestors, is in a state of turmoil. Rarely cross its boundaries, but the time has come to face the world. The bravest have volunteered to accompany you. Will you who will have this honor? Wait, so I select party? So we can pick... Can we pick any of these? Do I have to... Okay, I guess I have to select... I was just afraid that hitting select party is like, let's go with this party. Let's go to the sanctuary, see what's up. Add spirit. Ah, if if you have a spirit, that Vazard cannot take any risky decisions. Which one do we want to go for? I mean, I don't know, man. You got a dagger. Anyone have, like, a shield? You don't even have any weapons. You're level 2, though? Hold on. I want to be able to look at what you can do. Knocks the enemy back and deal physical damage. Gain one defense every two levels, starting at level one. So you are a bit... going to be a little bit tankier. Perhaps, perhaps. Wait, what? I want you. Okay, so then we go over here. I don't know. Is there a healer? Can we tell? So these are all level zero. You look... I think you're a healer, right? They gain two MP. I mean, that's fine. It's a support. That'll work, too. <laughs> okay, I like the look of this one. Inflicts weapon damage and minus three defense. Gain eight dodge. Sure. I don't see anybody who's like a ranged damage person. But it's hard to tell. Inflicts magic damage. Don't know what the range is. I feel like the hand might be the range. Maybe. I can't tell. So do I want to add a spirit? 
I'll add a spear to a couple. How about that? How about to uh, whoever's going to be up front? Max health, dodge. Oh, SP. Okay. So we can customize them a little bit further, but I want to have somebody who doesn't have a spirit just in case. We'll remove that spirit for a second. Health, strength, to power. Okay. I'm going to pause and look at some stats. Okay, so power is magical damage. We'll slot that on there. Uh, we'll bring you... You can have the strength. Let's go for that. And we'll leave one that doesn't have it so somebody can make risky decisions just in case. And we'll zip on out. There's still an exclamation point there, so I'm sure there's something else I could do, but I'm just so itching to get in that I couldn't care less. First time you venture so far from the village, through the trees a large white light guides you. Always shown in the distance, according to the prophecy, this is where salvation awaits you. <laughs> so this is almost like a... It's it's. I don't want to boil it down this way fully, but... It's kind of, yeah, like a tabletop RPG element. Kind of mixed in with like a, it seems maybe like a darkest dungeon-y kind of thing. Because we have a band of mercenaries back at home that can seem like they get, it seems like they can get stronger and be taken out further. But, hey, this is it. You've just got out of the village. You're trembling in excitement. Adventure calls even though you don't know which way to go. Gather food at the nesting pond, Oddward and Running. Pay a visit to the Watchtower. I don't know what any of these mean, but gathering food sounds like a good start. Alright, gang. Let's go. This pond is where your village breeds and raises its insect livestock. Dragonflies are carelessly flying over the water lilies while reeds dance in the wind. Everything is so peaceful. Bathing in the pond, diving in the pond. These have roles associated with them. Take out your net and gather provisions. Bathe in the pond, dive in the pond. I mean, I feel like I want provisions. That was the reason I came. You catch every single one of them and enough to eat your fill for several days. With that matter settled, you start running to make up for time lost. You pick up an accessory, which you decide to name Nuggets. <laughs> with a, Okay, Nuggets with a fine smoky taste. Gain strength. Great. Uh, I shall equip that to which one? Strength does additional damage dealt by physical attacks. I'll put that on you. What the hell's this? Get ready to fight. Open inventory. I think we're good. I like that it has that, though. Like, do you want to... Are you sure you don't want any items or whatever before you get in? It's nice. Okay, so we're actually kind of flanking you. I could readjust things. So I still... I am not fully sure which one is which still. All I know is I want you further. I'm going to probably try and treat you like the... You have a physical, like an up-close weapon end to that, though, but... I think doing this to, like, reconvene. So who has more health? 84? Alright. Looks good to me. Okay, so those are the initiatives of the other characters were absolutely absurd. Uses action points. It does not use spirituality points. So we could do that and uh, an attack? That's kind of wild. It does use up two of my movement points for what it's worth. Huh. Okay. Mad. You can't get that close, though. That uses no movement. I can't get in range.
You have how many movement points, though? You have two. One, two. Two. I'll get you up right here. Not that it's going to really help that much, but... Now this. You can get all the way up in there, do a little bit of smack or so. Cooldown of zero. However, knocking them back isn't really going to help me that much. Theoretically, I could punch again if there was another person here. Okay, that is that is so good, though. 9-16. You are going to be able to move into this person's range anyways, so I feel like someone can take a hit. Take six whole action points in order to do that. Is MP... Yeah, MP's movement points. All right. Let's just get up there and do a little bit of a smack then. If you're going to be hitting somebody anyways, this is when we say go right in. Or... <laughs> just, just run because you can at this point. Mad. New round starts. Oh, that wait. So that's not the guaranteed order. All right. Well, you can't get up in there, so you back out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we need to get more movement points on flibs. That's what we need to do. Okay. So you can get up there and stab. That'll help. We can get closer to You can only move two, so it doesn't really matter where we go. So yeah, you will hit the person who theoretically can take it the most. Hmm. If I... If I'm trying to... Uh, should we do this for science? Try and knock you back and see... There is contact damage. Gotcha. I was just curious. That's really... It's important to learn that stuff, and I might as well learn it now when it's just a guy. Okay. Yeah, you're... Get out of here. We have so many freaking ability slots. Are you kidding me? Skill unlocked. Available for all characters on the next level up as well as for all new games. So that's a skill I can choose. Is that how this goes? It's an optional skill. Time to loot. Uh, bone stick. Two extra power. Distance of one smack. Six action points to hit. Seems like it's generally going to be there to increase your magic power, though. Checks out. It's a, you know, it's a stick. In the wilderness, monsters can hide behind every bush, every fold and crease of the land. Fortunately, you can also meet other Vazards, the nomadic tribes of the Wanderers, which are rather friendly. All right, one moment. I want to check some audio stuff. All right. Train, we could get some experience. Hubis would level up. Rest is a heal. Prey gives us... It looks like the symbol for mana. Run will increase. Oh, how long it takes until the shade catches us. This... Why is nobody talking about this game? Am I out of my mind? Sorry, just like everything about this game is just so appealing so far. I just... I don't know. All right. Pick a personality trait that you'll be able to increase. It'll affect, uh, affect the available bonuses and skills. What? Okay, so different... Okay. 
they're currently very empathetic. Uh, so I'm assuming that'll help us with, like, kind of support stuff. Brutality's gotta be, like, aggressive physical stuff. Rationality? Um... Probably, like, support and, support and strategy, like, tactical stuff. This has clearly gotta be magic. So here's the thing. I already have so much empathy... I feel like maybe I give them... Nah, eh, it's fine. We'll give more. Pick a bonus. Four magical defense, two strength. It's only physical attacks, right? Yeah. I'll get some magical defense up. New skill. Draft two cards to reveal. The cards will be revealed afterwards. Passive? Or active? Eh. Give me a passive and an active option. When an enemy targets you, they receive a minus five accuracy for five turns, or the target dodges the next attack. No effect if they're already being affected by parry or loophole. Absolutely. You're still a long row ahead, and you're already tired. One of your companions starts singing a tune that you're familiar with. Sing with them. We cannot. Okay, so it's based off of, like, the color. Gotcha. Listen. Ask them to keep it down. I'll listen. Hearing that tune again brings back memories. Whistling along, you forget about your pain. Everyone's borrowing a bit of your happiness, too. Demios's critical chance is raised by 20%. Oh, my God. Okay, so that stuff can have pretty big effects. You cross paths with another Vazard. At a glance, his clothing makes you think he belongs to the Wanderer tribes. What's odd is that Wanderers always travel in groups, so why are they alone? Hmm. Ask them to join the group. I mean, can we have five like units? Tears from, drop from the Wanderer's eyes as they gratefully accept. They're not ready to share what happened, but you can guess the gist of it. While you were able to resume your progression together, growls and barks of monsters rise from the woods. The Wanderer shudders, but their paws are firmly clutched onto their weapon. Their courage is uplifting. Brog's critical damage is increased by 20%. So do they, uh... They probably are going to be back at our camp, is what I would presume, right? God, I almost... The fact that there is an ability to run and I'm like, I don't know if I want to. And I'm the most impatient man alive is crazy. Um, gonna slap that on you. Okay. I know that you are kind of my more of my supports. Wait. Oh, they are helping me. They're just, um, they're not player controlled. Gotcha. How much you only have you have three movements? It should be you should be fine here. How much movement do you have? Two. You have six. Alright. Okay. Pardon me, I mean we next turn of yours we can get them out of the way for sure. Ooh. Okay. So it's your turn, and then they go, and then... Okay, we get to go with the others. So minus three defense, and we get to do some damage. It does cost um, spirituality points. So the other option is we just get in there and we attack you twice. 
Oh, this costs... But this costs none of our other points. So, like, we could do that and two flaying daggers. I don't think I want to spend all of those resources right now when it looks like this fight is really going to be going our way. Been poisoned? Oh, come on. <laughs> if I... <laughs> Sorry, pal. <laughs> Sorry, mister. You're just kind of a wall to me right now. Appreciate you. Uh, I guess we'll get you down further. We have the poison element. Um, put that on our magician so they could maybe run up there in time. I'm assuming... Yeah, that also costs movement points, but... There's not really anything I can do about... One, two, three, four, five, six... Oh my god. Untargetable. Anticipated as much. So you can run all the way up and attack? Oh, you you went for the NPC again. I mean, I can't deny it works pretty decent for me. Get out of here. It's what you get when you cross swords with us, indeed. Urgent care unlocked as a possibility. I like that. I like that a lot. A level up? Almost. The level ups are really interesting too, so. Flying sword, 12 health points. Causes six action six action points for that. Carapace shard. Two defense up. Alright. works for me. With each step you take, you feel the comforting presence of the ancestral spirits. They have always watched over the village, and you know that they'll accompany you till the end of your journey. I like that they just will keep on moving. So is there a reason you have to be Okay, you don't need to be Holding no weapon to use Jostle. And the thing is, you have six action points anyways. So I can only... I can use a four action point ability once anyways. The Flaggard is finally down. And the Wanderer is severely wounded. Off the Wanderer to end their misery... Try and heal the Wanderer, take a closer look at the beast, or rip out its pincers. I shall try. You grab the arm of the blade guard. And we succeed. You carefully cut out the monster's claws, so sharp. No doubt you can make great use of it. Hubis' strength is raised by three. Was that my, uh, whatever, the helper? Rusty Dagger, three action points, four to five damage. I mean, we could... So, Brogs, how much does this do? 13 to 19. That also gives health. Club, I mean, I think I'm fine with that. This does a little bit less. Does a little bit less, but gives us more... Critical chance. Five percent crit chance. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Not really missing much. 
This is a lot of... This is triple levels. Let's do triple levels. We're fine. We're not being chased. We're not missing that much health. Past one day. We're not... It seems like we have enough time to get to where we need to go. And now we get a level Palooza. Personality trait. More brutality. Three defense or 12 max HP. So ignore three more damage every time we get hit or get 13 more max HP. I'll get I'll ignore three more damage every time we're hit. Active, passive. Ooh, it's a wait, it's a, a, a an epic passive or a common passive. So it also looks like it sort of takes it out of the pool in a way. So let's since scale breaker wait <laughs> this character just ignores defense gain a strength every level i mean sure you just ignore defense that's seems seems quite helpful you have a passive of gaining dodge you're kind of all over the place aren't you with your stuff i, I think you should lean a little bit more into brutality Max spirituality points. Uh, yeah. Or you can re-roll for spirituality. Let's go with two of that. Sure. Um, I'm going to get you a new active, hopefully. Three action points. Cooldown of zero. Inflict three to six physical damage. The target and yourself both receive bleeding for three turns. Increase defense by your strength. This actually, okay, for like an off-tank kind of vibe, I actually really like the idea of this. We lean into strength a lot for you, and then if I need somebody else to go in and be a tank, your defense can temporarily scale off of your strength. That, I really like that. I really like that. It does cost spirituality, but guess what? We also increase their spirituality points. Last one, we got Dimios. And we go for the mage abilities. Two extra range. I mean, four power is nice, but an entire two extra range? I'll go for the power. The range is already pretty big. Um, Like a legendary ability? I feel like I don't want to waste the epic here. Because I'm probably going to pick this. Uh, Two spirituality points, six action points, and two movement points to give an ally six AP. Um, uh, that's not bad, but it's a lot, man. There are definitely going to be times where we would want to, this basically is like trade this character's turn to somebody else. And there will obviously be time where we want to do that. But also give initiative. I honestly think this one might be better. But this one, I feel like I'd be a criminal for not taking a legendary skill. But honestly, I'm I'm neutral on it. Because I think that that is going to be a character that I will want to use their turns often. Stumble upon a peculiar sight along the path. Uh, on the side of the road, Squirin and a Badgehog are fighting over a bird nest full of eggs. Take out both, protect the nest. Try and get the nest out of reach, but the small critters are cunning and steal the eggs away. At the same time, a furious bird is charging you. Demios's initiative is lowered by two. Rip. I think we're good. Yep. Wait, did we get attacked ahead of combat? I don't think so. Okay, so this is a little bit sketch here. We lost our uh, our ally. Let's see. Okay, but, okay, you have six movement all of a sudden. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Do you have how much? You only have three? Okay, you stay, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can't get to my mage. You could, though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. You, you sure could. There's no good way of doing that. And then you also don't really have very much movement of your own. One, two, three. If I put you here, we could get you with a one, two, three. I think that's just going to have to be fine. You have six movement as well? Yes. I think it's going to be a little just be a little bit rough no matter what. Try and protect them actually like a little bit tighter. Oh, I was really hoping I'd roll a lot better than them. But I sure as hell did not. Oh, wait, that didn't even do damage? Resisted? What a god? Okay. So if I move up here and I just go for a punch, I could then punch again. Okay, hold on. They have some kind of a passive I should check. Mad. Gain strength. Okay. It's how much right now? 15. I, God, I wish I had more movement points. If Flibs went, so you could do like nine-ish damage. It's not that much. I mean, if you got the crit, that'd be great. But if I had one more movement point, then I could absolutely cast this a second time. That's just irrelevant. It's got a cooldown of six. I, I don't... Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, target dodge is the next. It does take up one of my spirituality points. I think that's probably fine. Alternatively, we get in there and we just smack you. I'm going to give you movement points. Now, this is a little bit sketchy. I, I might want to go in and go for a, a slap, 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 you know? We can attack twice. We could get the powerful attack. Eight to nine. I mean, do you even have defense? No, but can you go in the negative? Let's find out. This is for science. We also inflicted we weapon damage. Okay. That's fine. It's worth it. Can you not... Oh, you can attack again. Dodge. Okay, that's fine. I don't think I want to spend my extra spirituality points here. LOL. LOL. What a god we have created. I mean, I'm sure the scaling will be different. So we have extra movement points. I did that on purpose so we could go for uh, two magical casts here. Get out of here. I don't think I need to spend SP. Bonk. Bonk. Come on. Why are you... Why is it not... Okay, there we go. I was going to say. The music goes from so quiet to uh, so loud. It's so hard to uh, get the right... The right balance. War Cry has now been unlocked. So 
Certainly we're not... I mean, well, I guess Hubis could maybe get a level up. Oh, nice. All right. I mean, you already have... I feel like maybe... Well, no, it wasn't half last time. Max spirituality points, max HP. Are you out of... Uh... No, you're not out. Of, you're not out of spirituality points. I wonder why I can't re-roll these. Um, sure. Greeted a bit. Active skill. Let's pick between two actives. Knock a target back four tiles. Costs a spirituality point and nothing else. Target the ally gains forty dodge until the next turn. We do have a force dodge the next attack already. Let's get the utility of this. It is impressive how quickly things can ramp up in terms of like what we have access to do. I feel like a lot of turn-based tactics games, especially turn-based tactics roguelikes, they feel like they take too long for you to get stuff that lets you make meaningful choices and i feel like we already have some and i can see the end game and i see lots of options all the time uh minus dodge plus spirituality points uh those who survive this will remember it for a long time so poison doesn't do as much damage inflicts some poison though that actually seems pretty useful on maybe like a, um, I get both, I forget. On somebody who we're not going to be scaling their damage. So perhaps could be good for my healer. Because it just, it just does that amount of damage no matter what. It's kind of, um, it's irrelevant. We never have to take magic damage up. We never have to take physical damage up. It's just always going to be doing that poison. I just want to keep on training. Is that... I feel like if you can get away with it, you should, just should, yeah? So resting gets rid of your upgrades. It also gets rid of the penalties. I would say we really don't want to rest then. The question is if we run or train. I've not had anything compel me to speed the timer up. We got a boss fight, benediction camp. All right, so let's go ahead and check our healer. Yeah, I don't really care about your club, so you can have the poison dagger. I, I do like that more. Sure, you can have this. More spirituality points. A lot of that stuff needs him. You stop on the path, witnessing an awful sight. A whole caravan of wanderers slaughtered. Bodies in pieces and puddles of blood makes you, more than ever on this journey, one of Om. One of them was carrying a bag full of seeds. Study their wounds, track down the murderers, cry over their deaths, bury them with respect. Let's study the wounds. You kneel down to look closer. One glance is needed to understand that flayards are behind this. There's hundreds of them around here, after all. Without a trace of remorse in your thoughts, you search the caravan in hope of finding something useful. The result of your scavenging hunt, an odd necklace, some dried meat, and a torn-out map. You pick up the bell necklace again. Oh, isn't we get, we get another one. We get another nugget. Did I already put that on the guy? I think I did. Piece of map. For initiative. Great. Uh, let's see. Here's the plus defense. We'll give you the plus initiative here, our tank. Where's our a dagger? You can have the nuggets. And you know what? I'll lean into it. You will never dodge, but hey. That's good. 
By combining the different pieces of the map you've been gathering until now, you finally read the full document. The Wanderers have truly mastered the way of indicating paths and roads. Except you probably have a, to be a master yourself to know which symbols indicate what. Go to the triangle, the circle, the cross, or throw away the map. The hell? <laughs> circle. After a lengthy detour, you finally reach the place the circle is indicating. It appears to be a hideout for wanderers where they store what they can't travel with. It's fine and all, but you still can't believe the time it took to get you here. It makes you lose three days. Gotcha. Oh, does the music get louder as the fog gets closer? I mean, we have eight days still, and then we're at this boss here. I think we're good. Okay, that was... I don't know why. <laughs> it's like, ah, yeah, maybe I'm screwed, actually. If they do fire damage, that is going to be rough. Cutting into with blades. Uh, burns its enemies in the same flames, flames that regenerate it. It'll attack the weakest prey to drain it of its blood before devouring it. Yikes. Okay. I kind of... It's 4540. Oops. Let's get you up here. Healer, you stay back. You stay back. As much as I can. Only four movement on you. T only two movement on you. Yeah, I think this is the right call. These, these are going to... You're going to take a while to get here. Oof. Let's see. If we moved... How much it takes? How much it takes? It takes, okay. Three, we can do that then. Oh, 29 damage. We got like a crit there. Illusion. Gain 20 dodge. Sorry, 20 dodge. So I think the illusion must have taken some movement. Please. Ooh! So that was like some kind of a charge. I'm gonna go for motivation on Demios again. I think that that is a really good call. You keep running. We're gonna be able to get in and actually do some hits soon. Okay, so we got enough... Please kill. Nice. And then we should be able to do it again. But over there. Good. And we have one movement left. Let's scoot everybody back. So four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're kind of in the best spot we could be. For right now. Oh, this can hit allies. Wait, that's actually kind of interesting. It doesn't do anything as far as damage, so. Living Steel, that's got to be an armor up, which shouldn't matter for our match. <sighs> Is an AoE. Is an AoE. Makes sense. Burning. 3 to 6 HP loss at the start of a turn. Can't get healed. 3 HP loss at the start of each turn. None of that's great. Now, is it? So if I hit you, then the you're not going to be able to help. Let's 
Let's take any movement? No. What am I going to run with him? I might actually run down. If I knock you four tiles that way, one, two, three. One, two, three. You can't, yeah, you can't get to him. Not great. But. Yeah, I think uh, this is definitely the time for the, this. Assuming you have any kind of defense, you do. Shredded. Okay, we can actually get in there and do a little bit more. The dodge, don't love that. Okay, so we want to spread out. I'm trying to picture what it looked like. I think that that's enough space. Alright, good. Everybody on my squad gets to go first. Still have the armor reduction. If I hit you up there, then I can actually follow you. Cause, right? Yeah. Boom. You fly one, two, three, four. And I would go one, two. No, I only have three movement. God dang it. I thought he hit the wall. No, 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 no. If you could hit, if I could make him hit the bush, if I went here, I'd hit him down there. If I hit through here, it'd be all the way up there. Yeah, the ordering is—it's just a little bit unfortunate. I think that's fine. I don't like it, but it's fine. I don't know if this guy's even making it to us in time, so I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, my damage. At this point? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Was that like a scripted thing where they're like, yeah, you killed the boss, man. Here you go. Looks like maybe. All right, so yeah, that just that initial attack did hurt real bad, but uh, no point in casting any of that. This poor guy doesn't even get to play though, and he moves so slow he doesn't even get to go again. Bye. Bye bye. He was, he was scary. I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, he wasn't scary. Did we get, like, a full heal after that or something? Something, something? Get another unlock. Experienced healing. That's got to be... That's some level ups. God, I just the level leveling up is so exciting in this to me. I don't know. I got a little bit of rationale. Let's just do that for fun. Critical chance, max HP. I'll go for the max HP. So you can pick like a tactical ability. Okay, so it's kind of more like um critical, I guess. Okay. Inflict 24, 32 damage, and bleeding. Scaling off of my what? My, my Probably my power? Alright, sorry, strength? I mean, this one's better than this one, probably. Critical and critical damage. Yeah. This is a... Oh, and this is a trap. Gotcha. So it's something we can place down on the ground there. Uh, I think you can still go for Brutality, even though I know the crit and everything. Again, this is Strength. Sounds good. Grab a passive. Enemies cannot ignore your defense. Gain defense every two levels, starting at level one. Uh, Can't ignore your defense. 
I mean, both of those are good. So that is retroactive. We went up to eight defense. One more. Nemios. I like that you can multi-spec it too. Three initiative? I don't really want you to go first. Sure. You have such good stuff. Give me some passives. Maybe we can get like a movement up. Gain three SP. Hey, dodge, come on. Wow me. Gain one magical defense. Gain plus three range. There we go. That one's... We could justify that for sure. We get some loot. Get a lot of loot. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. Four strength. So, what is a run then? Because clearly it's not going to be like with that much, that many slots for abilities, even if we, nothing else. A run's gotta be here. We'll do this event. We'll head there to the campfire, and then we'll see what happens after that. The Wanderer's Hideout seems to have been abandoned long ago. No one will complain if you take anything, then. Take the dried meat. Open wounds. I feel like that sounds good. Seem to have some peculiar qualities, as if it could heal more than physical wounds. You pick up an unknown accessory, which you decide to name a healing balm. Heals your most painful wounds. Heals four health every turn? Um? That's so good. Okay. You get rid of that. You take the healing balm. You can have... I think I'm going to give you the initiative instead. Does, it, does any of this matter if I'm done? Theoretically, no. But I'm just so into this. I'm just so into this game. It's not even funny. Alright, so there... It's like almost here. Is the fight over... Or is the run done when like we let the shade catch us and we fight it or something? It's such an interesting risk-reward that heals get rid of your things. Your, like, potential penalties... Because we've got mostly good stuff. We actually like that Demios has initiative down, kind of, because we would rather have Hubis go first and give that range up, or the uh, the movement up. So yeah, all things considered, this actually. <laughs> Brog's being at that amount of health does suck, but, you know, we have that trinket that will heal him as well now. The question is, should we have outrun? Probably is the answer. Extreme Empathy! I mean, you basically have no dodge anyways. Legendary. Show me. Allies gain 3 AP for a turn. The targeted enemy will skip their turn. These are both so good. These are both so good. I actually almost like this one better, though. This one doesn't take um, spirit points, though. So it's like a little bit more commonly used, I'm sure. Hefty cooldown, but you'd be using it on cooldown. Alright, so what happens... What happens when you finish that up? The Augur's Mountain. Your road goes along the foot of a mountain range. The craggy peaks around you become more threatening. And you seem to hear... You seem to hear like a breath of voice in the wind. Okay, so that's what I anticipated. It is another zone. And I guess an important factor will be, if I exit to the menu, this could be a killer point. If you can't have, say, if you can't pause runs and they are like three hours long. Surely you can though, right? And then when you die, if you lose the characters, you would start from the beginning. It is, it is a rogue light in that sense, but it seems like, you know, you have your characters level up Hmm. So if they die with the spirits... Yep, yeah, okay, um, good. So that is, that is where we would want it to be. 
If they die with the spirits, is that like they, they get to go back to the camp? Or is it just a chance that they don't actually die? Because that's what it was in combat, so... Either way, God, this game is so good! What the hell, man? How... What... What is going on, man? It's so, so good! <laughs> I... I shout this one from the rooftop, gang. Uh... Etheris, it's out on Steam right now. It's, is it cheap? Eh, you no, know, it, it's it's twenty five bucks with seventeen percent discount right now if you get it, like really soon. Okay, it's uh within two days. It's there's a seventeen percent discount. You can get it for basically twenty bucks. But I gotta say, from what I see so far, yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, that's worth it. I paid that price. I didn't get sent a key for this. I paid full price. I'm super happy with that payment. Uh, oh my god. Love it, love it, love it. I can't wait to play more of it. Will we do it on the channel or not? It's up to you guys, but I think this game is just just so fantastic. Uh, and we really just scratched the surface on what a run looks like. And I'm playing in a very straightforward way of like, this is my this class, this is my this class, this is my this class. But you could definitely go for like weird, curious, multi-spec kind of builds. And I think it could be very functional, it seems like. Uh, I love the level up system. I think it's juicy. I love the implementation of kind of the story-based mechanics and the, ch the choices matter system. I think it's actually interesting, unlike a lot of games uh, who, who implement that in a roguelite. The whole, um, when you make a choice and you could potentially have a harmful effect the f or a positive effect, the fact that you can sleep it off is really clever. Such an elegant solution to a common problem that that presents uh, with the RNG and those story-based events and stuff. I, I really, really like it all around. Alas, thank you for watching. God, ugh, I love it. Check out the channel, Roguelikes and more, every single day. If that is a genre you're into, this is a channel you should be subscribed to, especially if you don't want to miss out on great stuff like this that, you know, it seems like not enough people check out or talk about. Uh, but I think they, I think after this video, you're going to hear this, I think you're going to start to hear this a lot more. Uh, this game's name, that is. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.